I tried to film this video twice already. First time I stopped mid-sentence because I realized there's cake in the house. Your day's getting pretty jam-packed, so you're probably gonna want to eat something. <gasps> and the second time I had to take my dad out for a birthday lunch. Like, God, dad, loosen the chain, right? So even though I've been celebrating it since about mid-August, it's officially fall now. I know you're excited. I'm excited too. Fall's great. Fall's awesome. But I'm here to give you a list of things to do to make your fall experience day-to-day -day even better. So here's something that I like to call the fall tag, a to-do list for a perfect fall day. Number one is to pick your favorite fall outfit. I've chosen this little black number that perfectly embodies the slow impending death around us through nature and ultimately ourselves. Number two, make a killer fall playlist. Fall isn't fall without that dramatic shift from upbeat, peppy summer songs to those moody fall tunes. So on my playlist, I like to include blood curdling screams, which I got from just placing a recording device in my basement, a lot of witch cackling, and also Bette Midler's version of I Put a Spell on You from Hocus Pocus. <laughs> I love that tune. I put a spell on you. And now, you're mine. Number three, get your favorite fall drink. PSL, chai latte, the blood of your closest enemy. Mm. Or just a little bit of cinnamon. A little goes a long way. Hire me for your kid's next birthday. Number four is to get outside and feel those leaves crunch beneath your goddamn feet. Sounds like the crunching bones of small children. Mm. Totally. Number five, go to a bookstore. Read a book, learn something. Do you guys have the Satanic Bible? Uh, no. Can never find it. Can never find it. So by now your day has been pretty jam-packed. You've probably worked up an appetite. So go eat something. And nothing says fall more than soup. That's it. Soup. Just, I love soup. After that, just chill out. It's a great day. You're gonna wanna just mellow out. I like to just hang out with some friends and family that I haven't seen in a while. So I just grab my Ouija board and just give them a call. But if you're not into contacting spirits from the other world, watch a movie. Watch a spooky Halloween flick. Uh, I recommend the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, that's a really good one. It, you know those movies that just kind of like remind you, you're just like, oh, this like, this is my childhood. Like this is, yeah, that's. That one brings back really good memories. And if you want to spice it up, you can turn it into a drinking game. Like drink whenever someone says help, or I'll be right back, or Haley, you're hurting me, or whatever. By that time, you've probably worked up a pretty good blood buzz, or whatever you're drinking. And you can drunkenly dress an amazing homemade Halloween costume. I'm a fairy princess. And after that, you just fall asleep. Fall. Asleep. For fall. It's one big goddamn circle. So there you go, that was my to-do list for a perfect fall day. Feel free to try these out. You can call this a tag and I tag you to do this. Maybe I'll tag personally some people down in the description bar so if you see your name, go on this interactive tag with me because I feel like tags are great. Tags are dandy, but let's make them more interactive. Let's make, let's bring them out into the world. Let's let the world interact with us or some whatever. I leave this in your hands. I leave this all up to you. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next week and what are you doing? <sighs> I gotta take my pants off. I'm not even joking you right now. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you'd like to see my musings mostly towards celebrities that never reply to me. <laughs> That's about it. Oh, let's do a thumbnail.